and welcome to uh, a brand new show, an internet-based show, right here on the good old MySpace.com and the www, so to speak. Welcome to a new show called The Weekly Explosion. Uh, I'm your host, Frankie Slauson, along with... Mikey! <laughs> hey, what's, what's up, man? How's Not it going? Much. How you been doing? Good. I've been doing very well. Good, 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 good. Having a little computer problems, but you're going to get that straight now pretty soon. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. A little bit here, here and there. Uh, uh, I'm going to let people know a little bit about what the show is going to be about here, just so they, uh, so they know. If you followed uh, Mikey's Adventures, the radio show, and if you ever listened to me on Pioneer90.org, you will know that uh, uh, we uh, basically I don't know thing about you and I, uh, and uh, this is a show about two guys that like to talk about things that are up and coming, and also this show will include songs and whatnot as well throughout the broadcast, and uh, much, much more, and who knows from there. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I'm excited about it. It's going to be a great show. Yeah, internet fans, I mean, this is like a, you know, I, I guess you could take it like a podcast show, you know, kind of, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, anybody can just hang out and listen to us. Uh, Any time, too, it doesn't have to be a, at a certain time, you know. Thank now, they could email us, too, and talk about what they want to hear and yep. talk about, you know, what they got going on, too. So you can cool. either email us through the regular email or through uh, myspace.com slash Frankie Slosson, F-R-A-N-K-Y-S-L-A-W-S-O-M, or myspace.com slash Mikey's Adventures. Yeah, MySpace has just gotten huge, man. I remember someone was telling me that it started out as like a uh, music for just music only, yeah. you know, if you had music. You know, back in the, I don't know when it started, like 80, when did it start, like 92, 93 or something? Are, are you like talking MySpace.com or are you yeah. talking, oh, well, it's, <laughs> MySpace.com's been around since the, well, I, I believe uh, 03 or 02 is when it kind of got started, but it didn't come, become really popular until about now, you know. Right. This year alone, I mean, imagine how many people around this world has have a MySpace page, you know. Wow, that's awesome. That's I, awesome. It's really blowing up. And uh, to kick things off a little bit, I'm going to play a song right now uh, by, uh, well, I did a, a Jim Varney episode, or what I'm doing for my radio show, and I'm going to play a song that he sang with Ricky Skaggs called Hot Rod Lincoln. All so right. we're, we're going to listen to that song, and then we'll be right back right after All this. Right. said, son, you're going to drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that Hot Rod Lincoln. <laughs> Have you heard the story of the hot rod race and the boards and Lincolns were set in pace? The story is true, I'm here to say, because I was driving that Model A. It's got a Lincoln motor and it's really souped up. That Model A body makes it look like a puck. It's got eight cylinders and you can them all got overdrive and just won't stall. With a four-barrel carb and dual exhaust with four little gears and it really get lost. got safety tubes, but I ain't scared. The brakes are good, the tires are fair. Pulled out of San Pedro late one night, the moon and stars were shining bright. We was driving up Great Vine Hill, past the cars like it was standing still. All of a sudden, in the wink of an eye, a Cadillac sedan passed by. I said, boys, that's marked for me. By then, the tail lights is all you can see. Now the fellows ripped me for being behind, so I thought I'd make that Lincoln unwind. Till my foot off the gas, and man alive, I shoved it down into overdrive. Wound it out to 110, my speedometer said I hit top end. My foot was glued like lead to the floor, that's all there is, there ain't no more. Now the boys all thought I'd lost my sense, and telephone poles looked like a picket fence. They said, slow down, I see spots of lines on the road that look like dots. Took a corner, side swiped the truck, I crossed my fingers just for luck. My fingers was quick in the guardrail post, the guy beside me was white as a ghost. Smoke was coming from out of the back when I started the game on that Cadillac. I knew I could catch him and thought I could pass, but you know by then we'd be low on gas. They had planes coming out from the side, you could feel the tension, man, what a ride. I said, look out, boys, I got a license to fly, and that caddy pulled over and let us by. Now, all of a sudden, she started to knock it down in the depths. She started to rock, and I looked in the mirror, and the red light was blinking. The cops were after my hot rod Lincoln. 
They arrested me and put me in jail. I call my pappy to throw my bail. He said, son, you're going to drive me to drink it if you don't stop driving that hot rod blanket. back and i hope you enjoyed that little uh, song by uh jim varney and uh ricky skaggs hot rod lincoln and uh not to mention about that uh uh try to get another radio interview lined up for my radio show or internet show uh thanks to mikey uh <laughs> gonna get one of the guys who were the original village people believe it or not that's and also the cowboy yeah right? rj and that's uh that's very i'm I very that's a surprise how you know him, you know? Yeah, I mean, he grew up here in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is where I'm from, and, you know, we kind of grew up around the same people, and he went to the same high school. I think he's a few years older than I am, so, you know, he went to Enlow High School, which is where I graduated from, and, yeah. you know, one thing led to another, and he went up to New York to find his fame and fortune, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you know, auditioned for the part of the, you know, the cowboy and the uh, village people. And uh, he was one of the original members, stayed in with him for five or six years. And now he's doing his own thing. He's got a CD out now he's trying to promote, and living in New York. So he's still making music, so to speak, huh? He is. He's still making music, and <clears throat> he's still, you know, I, I think he's done some some plays up there. And, All right. You know, he's into that. He was always interested in that kind of thing because I remember him talking one time and said that, you know, he had drama classes he took it. At, at high school and that kind of stuff, and he always he comes down periodically. He has a actually has a house down at the coast, um, yeah, not a couple hours from here. Um, and has a beach house. He comes down, and sometimes he talks to the students at, at the high school. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So he's a pretty cool guy here and there, so to speak, huh? Yeah, he's a nice guy. Um, very down to earth. His parents were really nice, and and uh, yeah, yeah, just just. Just like everybody else, is trying to live his dream. Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, especially with him being the original members of the Village People, you know that that's a legendary band, so to speak. Anyway, you know. Yeah, yeah, just like us. I mean, it's like what you're trying to do with your show, you're trying to live your dream. And yeah. Something I'm trying to do with my show is live my dream. And, yeah. You know, as long as you're having fun doing it, I say go for it. Oh yes, definitely. Why? Why just? Uh, well, we've talked about this before. Why just uh, say what you want to do? Why just do it, you know? Right, right. And that's what a lot of people do sometimes is, you know, they talk about it, but they never do it. And why, you know, the people at home are listening, wherever you're at, yeah. you know, live your dream and, and always try to do what, you know, what, what you like to do instead of, you know, having yeah. to do. Yeah, because, you know, growing up myself, you know, my parents and, and people would tell me, Oh, you you can't make much of your hobby. It's right. like, well, I'm gonna prove you wrong one day. Right. And, and exactly. I think and I think this is the time when I've done it. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And you know, <clears throat> my show's kind of growing on leaps and bounds on yep. Yahoo Video and Google Video. Yeah, and I recently seen the uh, latest video that you showed me, which I'm gonna play for. Well, I'll play the audio anyway. I don't know if people will be able to see the video. <laughs> I might add the video here. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> Uh, you at the Oscars, or what? what's up with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, we went to the Oscars and was having some fun, and, you know, and, and did the Oscars. It was a pre-Oscar party, yeah. the night of the Oscars, and um, they had the red carpet out. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, uh, fun people to talk to, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. So, like, was it the real know. was it the real Oscars, or was it more like a parody of the Oscars? It or? was kind of a parody, you know, it was a parody, and, you know, it was a lot of fun, and got some some exposure around here, and, and uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun to ask them if, they could, if I could come down and join them. They said, oh, yeah, come on down, we know you, we see your show, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they they gave you the red carpet treatment. They they basically treated you like you were Bruce Willis or something like that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mikey goes down the red carpet. And, you know, yeah, that was so, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna play that year yeah. So we're gonna play you. We're gonna play you that clip right now, uh, or either the audio or video or whatever I can, whatever I bring to you. Right, that's what. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever so you can ho- do. hopefully you internet people will enjoy this clip of Mikey at the Oscars. Yes. And we'll be right back right after this. All right, All right we're. <laughs> Hey, hey, 
Let me get him. <laughs> Mike is trying to pick up Marwena. Red is trying to pick up Charlie. about his body sound. A little bit of flame on the feet. That's what I call Facebook. And when they said creative black tie, you believe them, didn't you? It's the flame shoes, that's what it is. Mike, I think it's your hair. I like the hair. It's repeated. It's repeated in the flame of your shoe. Two years ago, it's still the same. Well, that's more than some of us can say. You come out and say, my man, you had last year. Absolutely. And Red is standing here holding a microphone. Mike Massey on Mikey's Adventure here at the Oscar Night 2006 here in downtown Raleigh. And I don't even know where we're at. Where, does, where are we at? Ah, Cardinal Club, Marilyn Monroe. Hello, Marilyn. Hello. You're dead, but you look good. I did as well. You mean quite well. How old are you now? I can't remember. Well, I stopped having after 25. <laughs> well, that's very good. You look good. The hair looks good. Thanks. Everything's happening. It's working. Yeah, it's working. Keep working it. So what brings you here tonight? What's going on? Oh, this event, the Oscars. It's the Oscars. You think you'll win an Oscar? Well, yeah. I wasn't nominated, but I probably will. You probably will. Just for showing off. Just for showing off. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mike Mancy on Mikey's Adventures with Anna Monroe. Get a good shot of her. You like his dress? Where'd you get the dress? The dress is good. John Maxwell, the original. Oh, really? Wow. Very good. His collection. His collection of um, theater stuff. Looks good. All right. This is Mike Massey on Mike's Adventures. We're right back. Oscar night. All right, we're back you here on the weekly explosion right here on the MySpace.com, an internet-exclusive very first episode. I hope you enjoyed that episode, uh, that clip of Mikey at the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm also, you know, um, around here now is teaching, started teaching acting classes, yeah. which, is a, which is a good thing for people to... Kind of do, and if they're from around this area or North Carolina, they can hit me up on sure. Mikey's Adventures MySpace, um, and we see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. acting classes, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not bad. So what you kind of do is kind of with the experience that you have, kind of teach everybody else that is interested. Yeah, yeah, and it's very basic. It's very simple. It's nothing hard about it. Okay. It's nothing hard about acting. You just it's just being natural. I think is what people have the most problems with because you got a camera in your face. Yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of hard for them to be themselves and try to, you know, just, just relax. Now, how long have you been doing that for? I started doing that um, a couple of weeks ago. So um, I'm actually doing it in conjunction with John Robert Powers, which is a modeling agency slash acting. Okay. And so I'm kind of working with them. They, they, I'm like a subcontractor and just... Okay. You know, teaching a class, and I teach littles to biggles. You know, yeah, kids that are like five or six to you know teenagers. Oh wow, that's yeah. cool. That is very cool. Yeah, I mean, and and I don't mind. It's like giving back to the community. It's giving yeah. back to something that I can contribute to. Oh yeah, and who knows? Maybe some people might uh, become very. Uh, they might get it really into it thanks to you, and maybe make a movie or two sometime. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, you know, it could happen if you're really interested. And what I tell people is that if you're looking for the big glamour and the, and the whole thing, you know, yeah. you just, you're in the wrong business because it takes a lot of work. Oh yeah, that that kind of goes with anything basically. Yeah. It's not easy unless you make it easy, you know. Right, right. And um, you know, it's like anything else: practice and practice and practice. And yeah. And just do the work, and that's what that's what gets you where you need to go. Oh, also, yeah. oh, I want to tell the people One Tree Hill. I'm on that on episode Wednesday night. Okay. So anybody that gets the WB, I think they changed or, or the CW now. 
Is it, it, is, is it this Wednesday or next Wednesday? It's this Wednesday. Okay. I think it comes on 8 or 9 o'clock my time, but I'm not sure. You okay. Check your local listings. Do you think they'll have a preview of it maybe that I could, that person could go on the website? And, I don't know. Because uh, I, I remember you telling me about that when we did the Mikey's Adventure radio show. And, yeah. uh yeah, I was kind of wondering when that episode was going to air. Because I want to, I want to see you. I want to see you in action, man. <laughs> well, it's an episode of playing detective. It's a small part, but you know, better than nothing. Think a small part only small actors, yeah. right? It's better than nothing. Better there than you not. Go. You get credited too. Is your name on the credits at all? I don't or? know if my name's on the credits. Probably not that big, but. Well, I mean, you know, if you're, you know, special guest, or they might say special appearance by Mike Massey or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I play detective and interrogate this guy, so. I'm not sure how much they used, and you know that kind of thing. You don't have well, editing to okay. do. Okay. How much? How how long was the part that you did when you did? It like, was like two days. Okay. Like two how, days of work. How, I did like an outside scene. Like how many days? I mean, like how many uh, lines did you have? Well, it was actually improving, so I uh, kind of improv interrogating. Okay. A suspect. Okay. So what happens in the in the show is that this girl gets um, stalked by yeah. this guy. And we get the wrong guy, it turns out. I don't want to give too much of the plot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know how to do that. <laughs> Let the people uh, figure it out for themselves. You know? There you go. There you go. And if they can't see it uh, this Wednesday, I'm sure they'll air an, an encore or rerun here. Probably. Or maybe they'll do like how, like, uh, Fox. I wish it is like how uh, Fox and MySpace.com are t- kind of together now. You can watch episodes of, like, newly formed uh, TV shows right on the Internet. There you go. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? You never know. Never know where you're going to go. Never know where you're going to go. But uh, we're going to play another song here as we uh, take a little quick break. Uh, I'm going to play you a song uh, that I played during, that we're playing during my Halloween episode, a, a mix of uh, the Weird Science. If you remember Weird Science, the movie, yeah. I got a 12-inch uh, dance mega mix or whatever that we're oh playing. Oh, my God. About six minutes and 30 seconds long, but it's pretty cool. People that I listen to it on the radio really enjoy it, so.
explosion show right here on well the internet myspace.com <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoy the weird science theme song I, I hope people really uh, got into that I hope everyone liked that yeah that was awesome I like that too and, and, and that's the extended version right? yeah that's the uh, 12 inch mix dance mix version <laughs> there, you go. there you go I mean hey it, you know it, it's different because you know that that movie alone, you know, because uh, Danny Elfman and uh, Orgo Borgo, you know, really uh, set the stage for for that. Uh, That's right, um, they did. I remember Orgo Borgo. That was back in the 80s. Yeah, and uh, Danny Elfman, of course, is still making scores and whatnot for certain music or movie theme songs and whatnot. He does a lot of that with Tim Burton. Too. Yeah, he, he did Burton. that This Is Just a Halloween uh, song that you have on your MySpace page. That's right. He's awesome. He's on my spot. I don't know if it's him or not, but it's somebody that says it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Has a MySpace page as well, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully that's him. Who knows? Yeah, because, you know, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. You know, I finally, uh, well, as we were talking about earlier about uh, Randy Jones, uh, he uh, added me to his MySpace page now, so we're going to have the interview airing here on Pioneer Night for One and the radio, or on the internet here. Probably by next week. So. Oh, really? Did you email him and stuff? Yeah, I emailed him, but I, I I called him before I called you. So All right, cool. So yeah, good deal. He's a nice guy. You enjoy talking to him. I I hope so. I, he seems to be kind of nice. He even pronounced my last name right. Normally, <laughs> normally, normally people get it wrong. You know, normally it's Slason, Slason, what? You know? <laughs> so 
Yeah, you already enjoy talking to him. He's great. Are there any other? Let me ask you this: Are there any other big time people that you know that would be great to interview? I don't know, there'd be a lot that's great to interview. I was just talking to some people. I don't want to say anything right yeah, now, yeah. but I want to, when I, uh, when I talk to them and if it's okay. Yeah, I know a lot of, a lot of great people that you can, uh, interview and interview. whatnot. Cool. Yeah. That definitely helped me. Hey, do you know Tom Green at all? No, I don't. That's one I don't know. Are you, uh, but you know <laughs> I who? Heard he's pretty nice though. You know who I'm talking about, right? I mean, yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Okay. I hadn't heard, I, he hadn't done anything lately, has he? Nope. He hadn't done anything? Not lately. Uh, well, actually, if you go to TomGreen.com, uh, he actually has his own internet-based channel. Right. Okay. Uh, every Monday through Friday, uh, about 10 p.m. Well, Central Daylight Time, which would be, well, it'd be 11 p.m. your time, I would say. Ah. It'd be 10 p.m. my time, and it'd be 8 p.m. his time. Uh, in L.A., he lives in Los Angeles, and he does a. Uh, a live TV show or internet-based show that goes on for about an hour. So, yeah, cool. it's pretty interesting. I'm trying to get him, too. I'm trying to figure out a way. He did respond to a, a message that I did send him, uh, asking if it would be one day okay to come up to do an interview, but I, it's hard to get a hold of him, you know? Yeah, it is. He stays pretty busy, I'm sure. Yeah. He stays pretty busy. Too. But uh, that's something you might be interested in checking out, maybe. Or TomGreen.com. TomGreen.com. Yeah. We'll do it. And he has a MySpace page as well, so. Oh, does he? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And now that's, you, okay, oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, that's okay. I had some interesting projects that you guys might be interested in. I did a, finished a, like an independent film called uh, Man of Memory. Okay. And I played a dead guy, basically. Well, he was living the store with and he died. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But he played an architect who murders him, who gets murdered. I don't want to give away any Yeah, yeah. Him, but but uh, anyway, I had to lay my face in a puddle of water and had to spray some water down, <laughs> hose some water down, and lay in the water face down in that for like two or three hours. That was really interesting. <laughs> oh, cool. Jeez. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that'd come up for air every now and then. But yeah. basically, I was down there for a free. So your your role was pretty dead, huh? Pretty dead. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it's interesting because you know they show the glamour end of of filmmaking, but there's yeah. also as an actor, it's you know, I mean, it's not well, there's glamour. there's a lot of work that goes into it. We were just talking about how you know you were you doing your acting classes and whatnot, and, and how if you're not in it, if you're in it just to get famous and make right. money, well, then that's not really what it's about, you know. That's right. Right. It's about the working because you love it, and if you can see yourself doing anything else. But... So let, let me ask you this, though. In, in that scene of you being the dead person, how many takes did it take? It was a, quite a few. It was quite a few takes just because, you know, the different camera angles. And then the detective had to come up and raise my, grab me by the hair of my head and raise <laughs> me up. Oh, wow. <laughs> And then put me back down in the water. So he had to he had to grab you by your big head or by your big hairdo, you know, exactly. and basically by the big hair. If anybody seen my hair, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> That's my trademark. So and then they grab me and then they he yeah. So it okay. took a few takes. It took like you okay. know, fifty takes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is that something that's going to be out in theaters pretty soon, or I, I how long how long ago did you do it? It's been about a month ago. Okay. So they're still editing and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So I'm sure they'll let you know when it'll be out and whatnot. Yeah, sure. yeah. I think it's going to go to to video pretty soon. Yeah. Or theater at first, hopefully. Theater like, at first. Then go on theater, then take a course to go on DVD here. You know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. We're going to take a uh, quick uh, break here uh, real quick, and uh, I'm going to play you a clip uh, off uh, Jim Varney, a Jim Varney clip. Who doesn't like Jim Varney? You know, Ernest P. Worrell? I know we earlier played a song uh, that he did off the Billy Hilliard's uh, soundtrack uh, called... He's a talented uh, guy, Yeah, too. very talented. But uh, I'm going to play you uh, one of his Ernest clips or whatnot from Ernest oh. P. Worrell, from Hey All Vern. Right. Hey Vern, it's Ernest. So we'll be right <laughs> back right here on the Weekly Explosion. Stand up, Vern. <laughs> Stand up and act proud. Because what we're selling to hate me later. You can do this of our food. <laughs> and Dean Swanson. And who can forget Dee Crosby? And you know, Vern, I think Dee and Dean and the rest of the News 4 gang have had the most influence on my life. You know why, Vern? Because they're on the TV. <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> 
News 4? <laughs> News 4, Channel 4. <laughs> hey, Vern. Boy, Vern, oh. being in the hospital is your tough duty, ain't it? Well, thank goodness MASH comes on every weeknight on WDBJ7. You know, with hot lips and the Hawkeye and the old guy. What a right. Know what I mean? Good oh, morning, Bert. I was just making you some of my world-famous recipe for pancakes. Made with delicious, nutritious, Cream of Weber Highland buttermilk. Now, all us great cooks know that Cream of Weber Highland buttermilk, Bert, is better milk. Okay, ready? You ready? Here it comes. <laughs> All us great cooks know, Vern, that cream of Weber Highland buttermilk is better milk. Know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> it's a rehearsal and action. Hey, Vern, what you doing? A little lemonade? Get it? Lemon A. You know, Vern, you spend more time fixing this old heap than you do driving it. You ought to let your Chevy Super 6 dealer put you behind the wheel of a beautiful used car. They've got 1,000 reconditioned cars and trucks priced to sell. Know what I mean? Well, there's your problem right there, Vern. Feel that catastrophic converter? That little wire looks like it's got a little charm. Oh, my Lord. You ought to let you shoot. Hey, we're back. Welcome back to the Weekly Explosion Show. I'm your host, Frankie Slosson, along with Mikey. Hello, and people. <laughs> Mike Massey and whatnot. And, uh, All the MySpace people. Yeah, gotta love it, you know. This is, <laughs> this is, the, this is the future. We're, we're, we're starting this new revolution here. You know, That's here, right. Uh, MySpace.com feature. And maybe, who knows, maybe that the, the creator of MySpace.com, Tom, would probably... Maybe one day if we could find a way to send this to him and say, hey, this is what we have, you know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Maybe have it be uh, actually a weekly, uh, maybe we could get a sponsor or something like that, an advertiser or something, where Good. we can make some coin off this or something. <laughs> yeah, never know. Get everybody to email Tom and tell us, put us on. <laughs> yeah, make us a, a weekly feature officially, you know. There you go. But uh, we were talking about Jim Varney during the break and uh, how uh, he he died of lung cancer back on February 10th, 2000. But uh, a lot of people knew that he was a heavy smoker and heavy drinker and whatnot. Uh, and he did a biography on him way back after he died. And how was it? Was it pretty good? It was. It was good. I, I actually did. See, I had seen it, and it was very good. I, I like stuff like that. You know, stuff that really gets to the point. And uh, but uh, Jim Varney, the Ernest P. World character, actually that's just something that he created doing like an, an early improv. You know. That's right. That's right. And he's also. He was a, I don't know if this is local or just local, a Pond State. Do you know Pond State Milk Creamery? Pond State. Uh, pop, maybe you've heard of it. I don't know. Anyway, it was a North Carolina. I think it's, it was created in North Carolina, and I don't know if it went nationwide or not. Yep. But, um, he was one of the spokespersons for um, oh, really? Pond State, and that's how he got his start as Ernest P. World. Okay. Yeah, so he had his hat and the vest, yeah. you know, he used to wear in a T-shirt. Oh, yeah, he uh, he did a lot of commercials. That's kind of how he got, during the prime, during when Ernest first came out, especially in the 80s, he did a lot of commercials for local stuff. And, yeah. And being originally from T Tennessee, you know, that's originally where he's from, so. Right. Yeah, he, um, he did a lot of good stuff. Mostly, you know, I think he tried to branch out and do... And do different things because I think he got tired of doing that yeah. same character yeah. he did, you know, Beverly Hillbillies, and I think he was starting to kind of yeah, do other stuff. And after time, he, uh, if you remember the the movie Toy Story one and two, I believe he was uh, Slinky the dog, yeah, talking yeah, dog. Yeah, that's right. That was one of his last roles that he ever did. Oh, was it really? Yeah, but uh, but he was a talented guy. He was yeah. a good comedian. And uh, if you go to YouTube.com or even MySpace.com, they got a lot of video content on on uh, him and whatnot. Even wow. uh, maybe episodes of Hey Vernon and Ernest, you know? Oh, yeah. In three yeah. separate parts, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's cool. You know what I'm I mean? I was just thinking, too, I don't know why I was thinking this, but maybe the people at home would like to, I don't know if you could put stroking on one day, because I know you couldn't do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, stroking. <laughs> stroking. Yeah, we might as well. Why not? Yeah, what? 
See, the only reason why I could not play it on the air is because you swore a couple times. I did. I swore a couple now, times. Now, hey, now who gives a shit? But you know, we can, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're on the internet now, so we can swear if we want. We can, we can do whatever we want. We, we can fuck up if we want. It's not exactly. that big, you know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> we're not on radio. This is actually just the internet, so I'm surprised we have not even used the uncensored version of what we could actually have done earlier. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're making it seem like we're actually still on the radio, but we're not. We're not on the fucking radio. <laughs> exactly, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. And I was also thinking, you know, it's kind of like a Wayne's World. Do you ever watch Wayne's World? Yep. It's Wayne's World on the radio for us. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Wayne's World, Wayne's yeah, yeah. World, party time. Party on Wayne, party on girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I actually played, it was a parody I did one time, it was around here in Raleigh. And let me guess, you were, you were Garth, I bet. Yes, I was Garth, how did you know? <laughs> I kind of favored him too, with the glasses. The hairdo, the, the hairdo. And the hairdo, <laughs> and, and I've got somebody where my wife works, um, yeah. she, he, he's got my hair like mine now, because he okay. says, well, I'm going to have my hair like yours, I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Hey, you're a hero to somebody. You know? Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mean to be. It was well, kind of... sometimes the accents are the best things that happen, you know. That's, <laughs> that's right. And you got your own show going on. You got your own TV thing going on. Yeah. Well, that's uh, more like a news, le- news deal now. Uh, the TV yeah. show deal, well, yeah, yeah I'm still going to be on TV, but it's just more now just uh I told them I just want to help them out with their news stuff instead. Because, I, 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 you know, what I really want to do is some things that I'd have to buy my own camera to do. Oh. Uh, but I, and I will, I will, you know, I'm going to take full advantage of that, but not right now. Right. I will wait until, you know, till like, winter time gets done with or something, you know. I can always go to Walmart really easily and get a $300 camera, that's just right. like that, so. That's right. So. It doesn't have to be, you know, that's what we got, a little, you know, handheld. Yeah, that's thing. what it is, yeah. It has like a little screen on it so you can see it. And, yeah. 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 That's what you can do, and put it on. Yeah. And then you can be on YouTube and Google and, <laughs> you know, get your get your name out there. That's good. I've seen your MySpace page. People yeah. Are, um, people are listening in and, you know, and seeing it. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice page, and it's, you know, it gets it gets to the point, you know. And I, and I, I realize I got to update probably the color a little bit on it because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I can barely see the, the printing or the, the, right. the color. But, you know, hey, you know. That's okay. I I was having computer, <laughs> I was having computer problems, so you know I'm kind of you know I still got a little bit of a problem because now the video content where I play videos or whatnot, you know, right. I can't it, it like slows down or whatever, so the video like pauses or something. It just doesn't you know you know the other computer that I had it, the videos would play the way they're supposed to, but right. but I am probably gonna get a new computer probably I'm gonna probably get a two hundred dollar computer or, or I actually with what I've been paying the guy uh, the money. I have uh, it'll almost be enough to where I can actually buy myself a brand new tower if I want to. So, <laughs> so hey, you know, I didn't actually want to do that, but hey. it's getting to a point where I paid the guy so far 150 bucks, you know, for for a, a used computer, and then you know, I all I said is I want a, a tower. So hey, he's a pretty nice guy. Vern Lawrence is his name, and if you're from the Thief River area and you need a computer fix, well, check him out. There you go. TRFcomputers.com. Yeah. And he will hook you up. He will hook you up and just mention Frankie. That's all you got to do. <laughs> he will give you the full meal deal, you know. There you go. There but, yes, go. We, we can play that track, A Stroke It. I remember that. If you still have it on your page, I will, yeah, I will upload that. I will put that on here. So, in fact, we will listen to that right now, right all here right, on cool. the we Weekly can... Explosion. <laughs>
And we are back right here on the Weekly Explosion. Hope you enjoyed stroking. <laughs> Courtesy of Mike Massey. Yeah. So When's the last time you were stroking? <laughs> Have it been a while? Oh. Or was it last night? Oh, yeah, that's right. You did go out. You went out of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we, 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 I guess we could say some things, but, you know. <laughs> okay, all right. Stroking can be in anything, I guess, you know. <laughs> well, we can keep that a secret, then. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> for the wonderful masturbators out there. Hey, well, you know, there you go. Uh, we all do that. Yeah, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> I've done my share, believe me. Well, well, thanks for that moment there. Mike. That's okay. Hey, you know? <laughs> At least I admit it. That's okay. right. Hey, you know. A lot of people just can't admit that. Yeah. Well, hey, what the hell? I'll admit it, too. You know? Hey, there you go. Anyone <laughs> else out there wants to admit it, and yeah. email us and tell us your experience. Yeah. <laughs> Email Mike. You'll want to know more. I want to know more. <laughs> anyway, I hope people are enjoying so far the show. You know, we got a little bit more minutes, a few more minutes to go here. Uh, probably won't be a, officially an hour, but, you know, hopefully with the songs and talk a little bit, who knows. But, uh, but yeah, this is something that uh, people will get used to, you know, because, you know, Internet, hey, Internet's, hey. internet's a, the thing now. And, and it will be. You know, back then when... Back then when we didn't have the World Wide Web, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of different, you know. Well, you had the CBs. I don't know if you remember the CBs or not. CBs? Like yeah, CB, the CB, CB radio? Yeah, the CB radio. Oh, yeah. You had that, but I'm talking more just computer-wise, Internet, a way to connect to the world, you know. Like, okay, for example, MSM Messenger or Yahoo Messenger. Okay, you, you add people who you want to add, and if, like, you and I chatted... Or even on MySpace Instant Messenger, if you and I chatted on there, I type up a little message, hit send, you'd already have it, you know? All right, exactly. You know how weird that is? And, and depending on, you know, thinking how long it takes to drive, say if I want to go to Raleigh and meet you or you want to come down to here, it takes right. forever to get there. Okay. That's Communicate on the Internet or via phone, big bang boom, you know? <laughs> there you go. That's right. So that's what how I'm... How long would it take to get there? Well, it wouldn't take that long. I, depending on how I do it, I'm more. I like to try. I like to drive, or I, I'd take a bus or a train or something. But uh, I would not fly. I'm not a flyer. Not so. fly. But how long would it take to drive here? Uh, from where you are. I don't know. Well, it takes me about. Depending on which way I went, I guess it'd probably take a couple of days, probably two, three days. Oh, uh, really? That's all. That's not too bad. Oh, well, yeah, too bad. But then you know, I know uh, I could afford to. Do that myself. As far as my own my own vehicle, I could afford a ticket if I want to take a bus or a train down there. You know? Oh right. yeah, definitely. Right. You can three hundred dollars. You can probably get yourself a ticket. You know? Oh, that's true. And then just save on from there. And come on down. It, it might be something that I might just do. You know? You I, should. Yeah, you should do I, it. I, yeah, I think you know. And I know we've talked about this before. You know? You know that might be that just might be something I could probably. And save up some money for or whatever. And if I really want to just go down, just to go down, you know, I can easily get ticket information and everything else. And maybe you can help me out along the way or something, you know. Just there you to get go. Me Let's down invite and... everybody down. Everybody on my face, yeah. come on down to Raleigh. <laughs> yeah. And then the thing would be, after I get there, I'd have to find you because I don't know where the heck you live. You uh, know? That's true. We'd have to meet. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and I'd be, you know, if it all, uh, I, I wouldn't want to be a, a total bother, but, you know, maybe no, stay down no, for no, a couple no. weeks or something, you know, just to. Yeah. You know, That'd be awesome. Meet the people you know, you know. There you meet, go. Meet, your, meet Timmy and E and all that and all these people <laughs> that I've talked to but never met before. So Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of, I like the web because you meet fun and interesting. See, that's how we met. That's how we met, you know. Yeah. And how and you agreed to let me interview you, you know, and, and it right. kind of went on from there. and you know, and cool. It is cool. What I'm thinking about doing, too, is, you know, if, if you did look at my MySpace page, and you saw the Lance Warlock interview that I did. Right. I don't know if you even. I've seen that. Yeah, it's a good interview. You, you viewed that? Did you listen to the whole thing? Yeah. Or did you just, yeah. That okay. Was great. Well, I'm thinking about maybe doing that with all the interviews I've done. That'd maybe. Be awesome. Maybe. I don't know. How I how I did that was I transferred from mini disc or from the computer to mini disc to cassette to internet. You know. Right. I just kind of did my own thing. I think that'd be kind of cool. You know, if I did something like that, maybe. That'd be awesome. Because, uh, especially if you live with Randy, I mean, I, I don't be... <laughs> That's right. That's still a surprise. Uh, you know, <laughs> I never thought in a million years I'd ever talk to one of the village people for Canada. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. You but, never know, dude. But, 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 the way I look at it, you know, it's been a great time so far. It's been all these yeah. interviews that I've done have really, I appreciate it, you know, with you and then with everybody else that I've interviewed, from Greg Valentine to Michael Strider to Ned Beatty to just everybody. Yeah. It's, it's been it's been a thrill, you know. That's awesome. And That's awesome. And even your listeners enjoy listening to you. Yeah, because you know, and because stuff. the listeners only wish they could do this. You know? There you go. And they make, make them jealous a little bit. Well, make make, them jealous. Yeah, just say, hey, what are you doing? You know, look what I'm doing. What are you doing? You know? <laughs> no, I, I think they all know it's it's all good and whatnot. And it's just you know, it's just I like just like I told my parents. You know, I said one day I'm gonna. I'm going to make my hobby a reality, you know. That's right. And that's exactly what I've been doing. Yeah. So. And just keep doing your thing. Yeah. Never give up. That's right. So. Never give up. Any other plans for you now? Halloween's coming up now. Halloween. What's is what's the what's the big plan for you next or on Tuesday? Well, what I want to do, I wanted to go to this uh, house that's haunted here in Raleigh and do like a Mikey's Adventures and spend all night in this house. Yeah. Maybe get some paranormal research people in yeah, there yeah. and do some stuff. So I think that's going to be the next thing I try to do. Is Ormond going to be around there too? Or what I don't know. I got to ask Ormond. I just That'd be a perfect him. setting for him. Yeah. That would be. I just talked. To, did you go on MySpace and see his page, by the way? I've seen his page. I, I actually like the animated version of him. That's actually pretty cool. I, I give props to whoever did the animated version of him. Well, he did it. I mean, he did oh, he it did. Oh, he did it himself. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty That's impressive. what he does for a living. He. As a matter of fact, he would be good to talk to because he's done, he did a film called Barnyard that just came out. Yeah. And he done some of the animation in that. Barnyard? Yeah. Like the, I think I've heard of that now. I think the I've, movie is an animated cart children show. Barnyard, yeah, okay. Okay. And he's also done uh, Batman Forever. He did okay. He stuff on that. And yeah. He would be a good guy to Well, talk to. I tell you what, I'll let you do the hookup. All, All right. right, you hook me up with him. And All right. Give my you co- had him on as a friend? I haven't yet, but I, I know I could easily do that. I could Did easily do that. you see the trailer he had on his, um, on his face? Uh, a little bit. When I looked at his page, I was just viewing up and down a little bit. I wasn't really... I just wanted to see what it looked like, you know. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, like, I like it because, you know, stuff like that, you know, and even, you know, special effects and all that, and the uh, animation and drawings and all that, that, that to me is pretty cool. Yeah, he's talented. He's a talented guy. That's why I got into, like, a lot of the, uh, well, I bought every Friday the 13th movie on DVD that I could find, you know? Right. And, uh, and Jason Voorhees and whatnot, you know? And that, to me, too, you know, the music and all that, it all makes a di- difference. Right. If you remember when I did the Lance Warlock interview, <laughs> when he said that, well, he's a movie scorer as well, okay? Because his dad, Dick Warlock, who I also interviewed, was Michael Myers in Halloween, too. Okay. Okay. And uh, I don't know how how familiar you are with that or not, Harry, but uh, I'm sure you've yeah, heard of it. Bit. Okay, Lance was a mo- is a movie music score. When Anchor Bay Entertainment released the 25 Years of Terror DVD, he did all the music for that. Oh, so I see. it's always been his thing, you know. So cool. But uh, anywho, right. anywho, my plans Thank for you. my plans for thanks or er, Thanksgiving, yeah, Thanksgiving, <laughs> yeah, Happy Thanksgiving, yeah. What's your plans for Halloween? Halloween plans are, well, the only thing I really have planned is if people listen to Pioneer90.org or Pioneer90.1 FM, I'm doing a one-hour salute to Halloween. I'm doing a Halloween-themed show. Actually, that I'm going to work on right now. It'll be pre-recorded, but it's still, it's still going to be done. So, as far as other plans, yeah, as far as other plans, I don't really know. I bought Poltergeist, so I might watch that. You know, I haven't seen that ever, so... Oh, you have never seen it? I've maybe I've seen it in passing, but never really. Horror has never really been my thing. But then, then I realized after watching all the Jason movies and all that, it it doesn't really freak me out, you know. Right. right. I'm looking for a scare. I'm looking to be scared, but <laughs> well, <laughs> it's nothing. It's <laughs> nothing to scare you. Of course, that, of course, you. those movies you know, has those. It's just <coughs> the cheap '80s, you know, look or whatever. And <laughs> Nowadays, you watch all these movies, and like Saw 1, 2, and 3, you know, they're all kind of the same, and right. and uh, Kane's movie, See No Evil, and, oh yeah, I was going to mention that too, uh, this is probably a little old news, but this was back earlier this month, that we're not, and Timmy D was a part of that, uh, you had a wrestling event that came down, Smackdown came down, and did a no, no Mercy pay-per-view, I don't know if you follow Professor Wrestling at all, or, I don't no, know. I don't. 
Not too much. Okay, well, Timmy D does anyway, and I know yes, I do. He does. And uh, he uh, got free tickets, I think, or whatever, to go to Low Mercy. So that was in the RBC, RBC Center or whatnot over there. So huh. that was a three-hour pay-per-view, featured the wrestlers of SmackDown. Okay. And Raw or Raw SmackDown, whatever WWE anyway, you know. Well, right. wrestling, the old WWF, if you're familiar with that. And, yeah, uh, and he, uh, yeah, so he was lucky. I wish he would have took pictures of that. Or if he did, put on his MySpace page. <laughs> cool. But, uh, anywho, I, I think that's about wraps up my, our edition today of, or this week of the Weekly Explosion. It'll give you a weekly show or monthly show or whatever we can do, you know, whatever. Because this show, we're going to go farther than what we could in radio. And, cool. Uh, that sounds fun to me. So I'm your host, Frankie Slaughter, along with... Mikey. Mikey, Mike Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> you never know where you're going to go, and, right. and who knows, you know. Right, exactly. Until next time, we'll see you on the Weekly Explosion. Bye. Bye-bye.